Hello everyone, I'm Ruben Petrov and today we're going to play my UDK game. In a world where everything is made out of rocks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to narrate throughout the whole game, but let's talk about the visuals a little bit. As you can see, I created a realistic environment with a mystical touch to it, which is also enhanced by the music and sounds. Most people are wondering why I kept the long walk in the beginning and the reason is that it sets up the mood and I want the player to understand the atmosphere that I'm trying to recreate. Because I don't have much time though, I will tr just fly over this bit and get to the point where, where we encounter the first puzzle. As I've shown in the previous video, this puzzle is made out of rings which need to be rotated in the correct position in order to fit the image on top of this plate. I've also removed the green lights as we were, they were just temporary for the testing process. Now that we have solved the puzzle, we open the entrance to a cave. As we approach the entrance, we can see a fire, which can perhaps help us see inside the cave if we can find something to light up. Thankfully, there is a torch which we can use to light up our way through the darkness. Notice how, as we enter the cave, the ambient sounds from outside fade out and we start hearing water drips inside the cave. Because the whole game has an unstable feel to it, I've created a rock fall over here which surprises the player. We see a wooden platform across the waterfall, so we, can, we need to find a way to get to it. There is also this wooden beam hanging above us, so we can try to burn the ropes and use that beam as a bridge. As we go through, the waterfall extinguishes our torch, because we are not going to need it anymore. As we get out of the tight area, we can see a light coming from an object in the distance, so we need to explore that. Hmm, it looks like some kind of a color sequence. We can also see different color levers around us, so the colors must be connected. Okay, so the way this puzzle works is that there is a pause between the correct color sequence, so after the cyan color, there is a pause and the first color is red. So the first trigger we need to find is the red one. I'm really happy how the whole puzzle turned out, with the platforms on different levels and such. It's really nice when people say they really like it, because even though it's not a maze or a labyrinth, the platforms still leave an impression of such, with some places making you go in circles and trying to find the, the right way to other levers. I've created a few places which require a long jump and the player hesitates if he can make that jump or not. So sometimes he ends up going to the same place two or three times looking for a way out. The object which shows the color sequence is strategically placed in the center so that the player can see which color is next without having to go back. And pulling the levers in the correct order is very important because there is no other way to solve this puzzle. Once the whole puzzle is solved, all the sounds are played in the same order and a chest appears. And this is basically the end. Congratulations, you've won the game.
Okay, so now let's take a look at the technical aspect of the game, and Kismet in particular. I've changed the original game type from first to third person, and I've also removed the weapon. I've also added a checkpoint system, so whenever the player dies, he's not being teleported to the start. For the first puzzle, I've used boolean states and a compare boolean node, which tests if the ring are in the correct position. And once they are all in the correct position, the cinematic is played. The torch can be picked up and dropped, and once it's been lit, it can only be extinguished by the waterfall. It has a flickering light, a burning sound, a trigger, and a particle system attached to it. The rockfall is probably my most interesting sequence of events. I've used a lot of animations for the big rocks, physics for the smaller ones, and particle effects for dust to recreate the effect of a true rockfall. The rocks are controlled by spline actors, which were animated inside UDK as if they were holding the wooden beam. I spent a lot of time trying to create the order dependent puzzle, because not only did it have to accept only the correct order, but it had to reset at any point a wrong lever is pulled. So I started doing a research and I found the gate node, and although it looks simple now, it was hard to link everything in that specific way, so the puzzle will work in any situation, which required a lot of testing. After the puzzle is solved, the game just plays a cinematic with animations which I already mastered thanks to this project. All of my assets have Diffuse, Normal and Specular map. I've also created a second UV channel for the light map. In my workflow, I really try to use my polygons efficiently and the thing that I care the most is about the overall silhouette. After I finish modeling a new asset, I always look around it for sharp edges that will be easy to spot. I've manually retopologized most of my assets inside 3ds Max for maximum efficiency. Obviously sometimes I had to make sacrifices due to the time limitations, but I think that the rocky path is one of my best assets so far, simply because all of the textures work together nicely with each other and with the underlying topology as well. Also, I really like how all the wooden platforms turn out, not that they're that hard to make, but the unique thing about them is that they work together perfectly and just with a few different platforms I managed to build a whole labyrinth without any obvious repetition. For the color sequence puzzle, first I used an animated light which changed its color and intensity but then I switched to a colored crystal and I used a texture with all six colors. After that, I created an animated material using the pattern node. For the inside cave area, I've used mainly cold colors and a post-process volume which overrides the whole seam with a depth of field and color correction for a more unwelcoming feel. The depth of field also adds in to unexpected events such as the rockfall and brings intensity into the gameplay.